A major victory for college athletes in Ohio. Today, Governor DeWine signed an executive order to allow them to profit from their name and likeness. Tonight, local athletes and their families call this a pivotal moment. It's a move that's a game changer in college sports. Ohio's in the game. Ohio's going to stay in the game. Governor Mike DeWine signing an executive order allowing college athletes to make money from their name, image, and likeness. Ohio now among 22 states with NIL laws or orders that have surged in the past year. We see this as an opportunity, um, certainly. Um, to be on, on a level playing field. For Cleveland State University, that means keeping a competitive edge in recruiting. The good news is it still keeps amateurism restrictions in place, and so this is not pay for play. It's not an institution setting up these arrangements or endorsements or paying the student athletes directly. Athletes will be able to get an agent and sign endorsements. However, some industries like alcohol will be off limits. I think we need to first be thankful for what what all of our kids have been given. The order is welcome news for the Potter family of Mentor, with four current and former college athletes, including Ohio State defensive end Noah Potter. Right. And a laborer is worthy of his hire. The Bible says that anyway. <laughs> Their father, Grace Church pastor Tim Potter, says the NCAA had been so restrictive, his kids weren't even allowed to hold youth sports camps back home. There, there's more money being made, and from a fairness standpoint, Again, labor is worthy of his hire. These kids are putting in the work, and they are really good at their craft. Last week, athletes got a win in the David and Goliath clash with the NCAA when the Supreme Court struck down some restrictions. And now, a momentum shift in the future of amateur sports. I'm just excited for the future of student athletes, man. They finally have an opportunity to take advantage of their name, image, and likeness and the brand they created on and off the field. And Governor DeWine signed the order as the fastest way to take this action after Republicans added a ban on transgender athletes as an amendment to the bill in the state house, which slowed down the progress of the legislation.